All right, golfers struggling with the slice. We have the Sean Kennedy Orange Whip Distance Wedge Drill. It's a very difficult drill, especially uh, if you're newer to the game, I probably would recommend a different one, but if you wanna give it a try, I promise you, if you master this, it will solve your slice. Golfers struggling with the slice. We have the Sean Kennedy Orange Whip Distance Wedge Drill that you can get from your uh, game-like training store. And the goal of this drill is to hit it roughly 75 to 90 yards in between the goalpost. Now the reason why this drill is so good is because if you keep the face open for any length of time at all into the downswing, you're going to have to try to close it with more of the flip, certainly from the right arm coming down here. Now the beauty of this is that it doesn't let you get away with the flip because of all the bending in the shaft. It becomes very, very chaotic down at the bottom. So the only way you can hit the ball any distance at all in between that goal post is actually by twisting the handle to close the face early in the downswing. So if you're able to do that, then you're going to have no problem whatsoever actually delaying the flip of the shaft until well after impact. Because as you're twisting that handle, it's going to allow you to keep the shaft more rigid and delay that timing of the bending until well after impact. Okay, so if you're a golfer struggling with the Sean Kennedy Orange Whip Distance Wedge Drill, here's how I would work a player through the problem solving process. So go ahead and get into a backswing for me. Now, what's gonna be very important here is that as he's coming down, that club face is starting to rotate, as you can see, closing the club face pretty early on going down. Now, what I might do if I'm a coach is say, okay, I'm, I want you to swing into a downswing, but I'm gonna try to open the club face and you have to try to resist. Kind of like so. So as you can see, he's got quite a bit of shaft lean, but the face is still looking at the target. So that's really the key in order to hit this club because the flip is gonna need to happen after impact, not prior to it. Awesome. All right, so turning the Sean Kennedy Orange Whip Distance Wedge into a game, what I would recommend is start by making some full swings and seeing if you can do it, and if not, adjusting the constraints accordingly. So you might want to make the goalpost perhaps a little bit wider, or do the same drill maybe in a little different shot. So instead of using a full swing, start with a pitch, and then work your way up to a punch, and then do the full swing. But the goal is to get two to three in a row to be the ball flight and the contact the way we want, and then jump off of it, go putt, do your interleaf practice game for just a little bit before then coming back and trying to increase the distance and increase the speed a little bit. Thank you for watching Game Like Training's video on effective golf practice. If you want to know more about how to practice golf effectively, you can purchase our book at this address. If there were any golf training aids featured in this video that you think could help your game, visit our online retail store. And finally, if you like the coach, want to learn more about them and their golf coaching philosophy, maybe even take an online lesson or have your golf swing looked at, please check out this section of our website where you can join our remote coaching program. Thank you.